Sunday morning. I'm so excited because it's my day off. It's Sunday. Day off. Wait a second. I'm an Irish mammy. I don't get days off. So this is the shout out to all the Irish mammies out there that are cleaning, cooking, lunches, breakfast, starting, washing. It's continuous and they're under your feet. So all you mothers out there, you rock this morning. So today we are doing pastry. We are doing pastry with the magic fingers. I do not know why I have a French accent, probably because of the patisserie in me. <laughs> so we're doing delicious pastry. It's gonna be awesome. Before I do anything though, there's a shout out. My sister, Dee, has asked me to give a shout out to our oh, Julie. So Julie, out there, I think your surname is Goss. Goss or Goss, Goss, G-H-A-U-S. So Julie, our Julie, is doing a baking challenge with her friends. Julie, you've got this. You have got this. You're gonna crack on and you're gonna nail it. So Dee Evans is sending love to you, our Julie, to do a fantastic baking session with your buddies. Baking challenge is on. So this morning, we are starting with flour, butter, one egg yolk, and some icing sugar. So the flour I have here is 175 grams of plain flour. In on top of the plain flour, we have got cubed, very cold, blah, 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 butter. So in goes the butter. So we have got 100 grams of cold butter, salted butter, because I like to have the taste of salt, because with pastry, wait until you see what goodies we have in store. Now, next thing is we have got our icing sugar. We are going to wait until we are going to break up this butter with our fingers. Now, the technique I show my students is that you need to show me the money. Show me the money. Or you could be even dealing a deck of cards. Jack, king, queen, you name it. So I am squeezing the life. Now, if you find that your butter is very, very hard like mine, and if you're feeling great this morning, all you need to do is get your butter and over your little grater. Great, 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 great. Your butter. So if you're feeling great this morning and you want to do your pastry, you are going to use a grater to speed up the process. Now my hands are like a ninja. I work magic with my hands, so I am just going to squeeze, 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 squeeze. I am the queen of tarts. Oh, there's a nursery rhyme. The queen of tarts, queen of tarts, queen of hearts, queen of hearts. <gasps> the queen of hearts. She made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts. But it's okay, lads, it was recovered. He himself is in recovery. He's in intensive care because nobody steals my tarts. So I am... Um, Fingertips, show me the money. Show me the money. So as you can see the technique, you can be squashing a bug between your fingers. You are show me the money, show me the money. And every time as you're doing it, you are breaking up the butter, which is your fat into the flour. Now, the secret to pastry is keeping everything nice and cold. So as you can see, my little tips are dancing and they're fast because I don't want the butter to hang around because then it sort of gets oily and greasy. Not great. So as we're kneading, not kneading, as we're breaking this up, I still want little pieces of butter. Well, one of the things as well is to remember when you're making bread, you want that elasticity. You want that lovely chewy dough, delicious, but not in short crust pastry. So you don't want to work the gluten. So if you're doing bread, you're stretching your bread. Short crust, you want to have short crust pastry. So when you're kneading, it needs to be short and snappy because you do not want to activate your gluten. So we're nearly there. Come, come, come. Now, instead of caster sugar, I am putting in icing sugar because I can. And that's what I do. So we have got our flour and butter mixed. In goes our icing sugar and with your hand going in as a claw. 
in it goes and I'm making a little well in the middle which is like a little hole and in goes my beautiful free range egg does not have to be free range egg but your pastry will have an amazing hue gorgeous color now you've got your egg in next thing I am doing is I'm adding two tablespoons of water ice cold I've actually got a cube of ice threw it into my water so it's super cold and I am putting two tablespoons of cold ice cold water I'm using a knife not using my hand if I'm using my hand I will melt the butter which I do not want and I do not want to overwork the gluten so I'm using the knife as if it was a blade of a mixer and I'm going crispy cross up and down and tip it up Keep saying, lads, doing your exercises. And up and down and turn around and up and down and turn around. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chris, Chris, Chris. You will have beautiful toned arms for the summer. Now, this is where some people will go, oh my God, it's not coming together. I must add another four pints of water. Do not look. See, the butter and the flour are coming together with the work of the knife. The friction of the knife is bringing this together. Now, a lot of people would say, oh, put it into your food processor. Do the pastry in the food processor. It's so fast and easy. Have you ever cleaned a food processor when you're doing your pastry? And if you overwork your pastry into a food processor, you will know, because you might as well be eating the sole of a boot. You will have rough, tough pastry. In goes the hand like a claw. In it goes, nice and stiff. And your hand is going to become the mixer. You could pretend this is a Kenwood hand. Wow, 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 wow. And as I'm doing it now, what I'm doing is I'm pushing down together, pushing down together the pastry. As I'm doing that, the butter has mixed with my flour and it's coming together beautifully. Now, can you imagine if you were tempted to add more water to this mix? And that. Kaboom! Is your pastry made? So I'm giving a little squish together. I know exactly what's gone in. If you want to use stork marge, if you use the black of the black, oh, oh, oh. if you use the block stork, suddenly it's dairy free pastry. Now, tiny bit of flour and brush away. Lean a little bit and brush away. Now, lads, there's no pastry police around the place yet again. Everyone says, get your pastry, cover it in cling film, shove it into the fridge 30 minutes before you work it. I don't. So, with my rolling pin, now I will move my clean as you go, water out of the way. And I am going to work this little beautiful block of pastry because there's a method to my madness this morning with our pastry we're doing chocolate caramel tart chocolate caramel tart i hear you say how can you possibly do that trish in less than 20 minutes easy just watch me you gotta believe now up down so when you're rolling up pastry can you see i am rotating the pastry up down turn it around up down, turn it around, it prevents it from sticking. So it's 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, you turn it around. At 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, you turn it around. Tiny bit more flour, in it goes. And give your rolling pin a bit of a, a roll with it as well. Little pocket of butter has stick. Oh, that sounded like a little song. Little pocket of pocket of butter, da 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 now, wonder why I work on my own. Nobody else wants to work with me, that's why. Now, I'm stretching it, I'm stretching it, I'm stretching it out. Because I want thin pastry. I do not want thick, don't want thick pastry. We want light pastry. And we're rolling out the dough. Roll out the dough. 
up my tray. I'm hovering it over to see how large it is. And again, I'll use my rolling pin as my guide. Roll, 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 to lift it up. And release. So, tuck, tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. <laughs> now, normally when I'm making pastry, I will leave the pastry overhang, put it into the fridge to chill, and even bake it with the pastry overhanging, because then when it comes out of the oven, I can do chop, 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 chop. But on this occasion, I'm not. So I'm rolling the pastry into the tray. And I'll just press down with my little finger. Get your fork. Your fork sounds very posh. Get your fork. Fork. Doink, 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 doink. The sound effects are optional. Totally optional to yourself. Doink, 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 doink. Boink, 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 boink. And around the sides. Boink, 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 boink. Boink, boink, boink. I can't help myself. I have to make noise. Boink, boink. And then. Oh, sorry, it's like nails down the blackboard. Now, as I said, I would normally have the pastry overhang, but on this occasion I'm not. There's a method to my madness. Now, before I put that into the fridge, I will then get my cling film, a cling film, hello, my tin foil. And I am flattening it onto the base of my pastry. And then I'm going to use ceramic pastry beads. So these are pastry beads, okay? You can use kidney beans, you can use lentils. Just make sure that they're in your tin foil. So this goes into the fridge. And lo and behold, you put it into the oven for 180 degrees. And that is for 15 minutes. You take it out, you lift off your tin foil, and you give it another eight minutes, and kaboom, you have got a pastry shell. So the next thing we're going to do, and while we're doing that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill. I did cheat. So yes, I can make my own caramel sauce. This is fast. This is easy. You don't need rocket science. There's no hot sugar, no hot butter involved. Uh, 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 uh. Yummy. Now I have reserved a little bit, about a tablespoon of this in a container just for decoration purposes, to be fancy schmancy. And all I'm doing is smearing your toffee delicious yumminess all the way around your tart and the next thing to add in the finale is this will take literally a minute i have got 200 mils of cream and i have got 300 grams of belgian chocolate Two seconds. Stay where you are, stay where you are. So, recapping. We have got the plain flour, our cold butter. We have broken up with fingers. Show me the money. We have added a yolk. We have added ice cold water. Ice, ice baby, keep it ice and cold. We have amalgamated, we have kneaded, we have used our magic fingertips. Kaboom, we have made our pastry. The pastry now goes into your fridge for 30 minutes, or even better still, for an hour. You cover it with your tin foil, tin foil. You put your baking beads on top into that beautiful preheated oven at 180 degrees. It takes 15 minutes. You remove the foil. You put it back into the oven and give it another eight minutes. You've done your pastry shell. Listen, there is no excuse. Easy peasy pastry. Easy peasy pastry. The next thing you're going to do is you cheat and you get a can of caramel and you smear it into the base. Do I hear my microwave? Yes, I do. Two seconds. Next 
thing I get, 300 grams of chocolate, and I put in my cream, cream, cream. Ooh, chocolate soup. Give it a stir. Now I may have to put this into the microwave yet again. So I'm just giving it a gentle stir. As I'm doing that, look at the gloriness of that beautiful tart. And just give that another minute. We're nearly there. So while we're waiting, uh, any news, anything strange or startling? Uh, have we any elevator music on? Thanks for coming, thanks for coming. Nice to see you, nice to see you. So we're waiting for a minute for my chocolate to come out of my microwave and uh, nothing else to do. I suppose I could wash up, I suppose, but listen, I clean as you go. Pastry, I've got it all under control. 10 seconds, 4 seconds, 3 seconds. So once I've got my deliciousnessness out of the microwave, I'll give it another final stir and then I'm going to use my trusty piping bag as well for some fancy smancy decoration. But at the moment you can see how easy the pastry is with your pastry shell and your caramel. You can, if you wish, put that into the fridge while you're waiting for that chocolate to ping. Oh my bother! Life's too short! My microwave is just about to give me the chocolate. Two minutes! And let's see. Yeah. Ping. Oh, let's. Listen, just pour me a cup of coffee and a straw, and I'll just drink this baby. So, this now is like. The most delicious soup you can ever imagine. Whoa. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Now, I shall put up the photographs, the stage by stage. I'm going to leave this for about five minutes before I pour onto the chocolate tart. I will literally pour onto the tart. That is it done. That is all she wrote. You will have a chocolate toffee tart for Sunday treat. Toffee tart for Sunday treat. Happy days, lads. Happy days. No calories if you stand while eating with a dumbbell in your other arm. Win-win situation. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. You will see me live. Live, I tell you. So with more treats and more goodies and what what surprise will I have tomorrow? I'm not sure, you'll have to tune in. Tune in tomorrow at 10.